Well, Hawksworth Blood Centers and those who manage the country's blood supply say that the demand for donations is on the rise. Medical reporter Liz Bonus is in studio joining us live to explain. Liz, what is behind the critical shortage? Hey guys, good afternoon to you and to you. As we head into this holiday weekend, the need for blood right now is critical. According to those tracking the numbers, several events the last few weeks driving up demand at a time where those traditionally who donate, that demand or that uh, those who donate, that goes down. We also need, however, to take a look at these blood products because those who need them don't take any days off. The need is, is definitely growing. You know, we're seeing people who are making plans, going on vacation. Those vacations take regular donors out of town. But that travel leads to trauma treatment needed for accidents and injuries. Add tragedies which require increased hospitalizations, changing weather that leads to shutdowns and donor cancellations, and you have the perfect storm for our nation's blood supply. Blood donations um, have to come from volunteer blood donors. There's no way to make blood in a lab. There's no artificial substitute. So that means more than ever, if you can donate blood or blood products, those managing everything from really cancer really. care to transplant surgeries, desperately need you to roll up your sleeve and donate blood. Anyone you know who's received a blood transfusion was only able to get it because someone else in our community decided it was worth their time and effort to take an hour out of their day and go donate blood. This urgent plea now coming in saying all blood types are low in supply. Regardless of your blood type, there's always going to be a donation that we need from you. And especially platelet donors are in high demand. Platelets are a really critical component of blood, essential for clotting. Um, right now we are at a critical level for platelets, so we're really encouraging people to consider giving a platelet donations when they can. So platelets take a little longer, but if you can donate, go to local12.com backslash cares. You can schedule an appointment. And remember that the appointments help them know what the um, what we'll have in the future. In terms and of blood it, types? Yeah, no, in terms of just how much blood. Oh, okay. And so if you even can make an appointment three weeks from now, then they can promise area hospitals, hey, we'll have the, mm. we should have enough blood for this. So you know, if you can't do it tomorrow, it's yeah. okay. Weird question, but can you donate platelets and blood at the same time? Um, you donate a, your whole blood and then they take the product okay, okay, out. So but yes. yeah, they can use more than one product from it, but you are at that time specifically donating four platelets. Mm. Okay. Yeah. And they'll take anything. Okay. <laughs>